So this is problem number six on uh, equilibrium of forces. Uh, here in this question, uh, it is asked to find uh, the forces in various segments uh, of the cable that is in segment AB, BC, and CD. We have to find the forces induced. Okay, which means this uh, system of connected cable is subjected to 500 newton force at joint B and joint C. Due to this 500 newton force applied, uh, there will be forces induced in segments AB, BC, and CD. We have to find magnitude of the forces induced at AB, BC, and the CD. Okay, means we have to find the tensions. Means tensile force will be induced in all the three segments. We have to find that magnitude of the tension force or tensile force in all the three segments. That is what the question here. Okay. So, before going to find the forces in various segments, first we will find the angles at each joints. We have two joints here, joint B and joint C. At both the joints, first we will find the angles. For that, uh, we will draw one horizontal and one vertical dotted line at joint C. Similarly, at joint B, we have vertical line already. We will draw one uh, horizontal line, horizontal line. Okay, if you draw this vertical and horizontal dotted lines, now it becomes easy to find the angles at the joints. So, okay, so at joint D, we have the angle of 60 degree. We will have the same angle here, 60. Okay, and at joint B, Overall angle is 120. Out of 120, this angle is 90. 120 minus 90 will give how much? 30. So this angle is 30 degree. Okay. Now at joint C, you will have the same angle of 30 degree. Okay. Whatever the angle 30 degree we have. At joint B, same angle will be there at the joint C. Now, at joint C, overall angle will be how much? This angle is 90, 90 minus 30, sorry, 90 plus 30, 120 degree. 120 degree. So, here what will be the angle? So, between two red dotted lines, it is 90, 90 minus 60, 30. Okay. So, again 30 plus this 90 will give 120 so 120 and 120 so the remaining angle will be 360 minus 120 minus 120 will get 120 degree again okay now we got uh, angles at joint c all angles are 120 degree so in these type of problems especially on the problems on strings or the ropes or the cables finding the angles is very important if you properly find the angles uh, nothing is there, uh, just you will have to apply the Lamy's theorem or you, you have to use equilibrium conditions to solve uh, forces in unknown members. Okay, so if you make a small mistake in finding angles at the joints, no, the solution will go wrong, the whole problem will go wrong. So, carefully, we have to find the angles here now at joint B. So here we got 30 degree. So at joint B, the angle between this line and this line, total angle is 90. 90 minus 30 will give 60 degree as angle. Okay. This angle is 60. Okay. At joint A, we have 30 degree. We will have the same angle here at joint B. 30 degree. 30 degree. Okay. Now, the angle between means the angle ABC will be how much now? It will be 30 plus 120, 150 degree. You will get this angle as 150 degree. Okay, 30 plus 120. Right? Now, on this side, 
we will get the angle of 60 degree how to 60 degree this 90 minus 30 will give 60 again 60 plus 90 will give 150 degree okay 150 degree right now we are able to find all the three angles uh, between the cables at both joints B and C okay now what we have to do we have to take each and individual joints separately and we have to apply the Lamis theorem or equilibrium conditions to, to uh, get the unknown forces or to get the tension forces in members A, B, B, C and C, D. Now I will take joint B first. Okay. And one more important thing while finding or while choosing the joint now you have to choose a joint in such a way that there should not be more than two unknowns. Like that you have to choose a joint. So in this particular problem you can choose any joint. Either you can choose joint B or joint C. At joint B there are two unknowns force in member tension force in member AB member AB is unknown tension force in member BC is unknown TBC and TBA there are two unknowns at joint B ok at joint C if you take joint C no force in member CD tension force in member CD is unknown and tension force in member BC is unknown so in both the joints there are two unknowns ok as I said before we have to choose a joint in such a way that there should not be more than two unknowns in this case you can choose any joints in both the joints there are only two unknowns you can choose any joint ok now what I will do I will choose joint B joint B consider joint B now I will write the separate diagram of the joint B So at joint B there is a force of 500 Newton, 500 Newton force and here we solved or we have worked out the angles here it is 150 degree and between 500 Newton and the member BC it is 60 degree, 60 degree and between 500 Newton and the member AB the angle is 150 degree 150 degree so here we have the tension force of TBA TBA and here we have the tension force of TBC ok now we will apply Lamis theorem applying Lamy's theorem applying Lamy's theorem TBA divided by sine of for member BA the opposite angle is 60 degree sin 60 is equal to 500 Newton divided by sine of for 500 Newton opposite angle is 150 is equal to TBC divided by sine of for member BC opposite angle is 150 sin 150 ok now consider first and the second equation therefore TBA is equal to 500 sin 60 divided by sin 150 by this you will get force in member BA how much you will get that is 
866.02 Newton. Force in member VA is 866.02 Newton. Similarly, by considering second and the third equation, you can solve for force in member BC. TBC is equal to 500 sin 150 divided by sin 150. Sin 150, sin 150 gets cancelled. Finally, the force in member BC, tension force in member BC is 500 Newton. Okay, now you got force in member BA and BC. Force in member BA is how much? Force in member BA is equal to 866.02 Newton. 0 to Newton and force in member BC is 500 Newton. Force in member BC is 500 Newton. Now you got force in member BC. So we need to get uh, force in member uh, force in one more cable that is cable CD. For that uh, we'll consider CD uh, joint C and we'll apply the Lamis theorem. We will get force in member CD. Okay. Now joint C consider joint C joint C. I'll write the diagram of the joint C. At joint C also there is force of 500 Newton and at joint C we got all the angles 120 degree 120 120 and 120 okay so here we have T C D T C D and force in member B C already we have calculated that is 500 Newton. So here I will write 500 Newton. Okay. Now applying Lamis theorem. Applying Lamis theorem again. Pi hundred divided by sin. 120 is equal to TCD divided by sin 120 is equal to 500 by sin 120. We can take any two equations, either first and second equation or second and third equation. We will get the answer for force in number CD. Sin 120 and sin 120 gets cancelled on both LHS and the RHS. Therefore, force in number CD will be 500 Newton. 500 Newton. Now, you got force in member CD that is 500 Newton. 500 Newton. Okay. So, this completes the problem. We have got force in member AB, BC, and CD. Okay. Thank you.